the tickets weren't scanning. I'm going to the Beyonce. First concert, you guys. You just gotta keep living, man. L I V I N. Welcome back, my beautiful people. I'm back with another video. Okay, y'all. Um, I don't know how to process this yet, but I'm going to see Beyonce live for the first time and i'm super freaking excited i know i don't look excited because i'm still processing that i'm going it's just like really insane to me and it's blowing my mind but anyways as y'all can tell i'm at a motel for the weekend okay even though i live in florida i just wanted to get a motel just because get the feels of the concert or whatever but there's my bag. I gotta unpack because I packed the tour. I just gotta put my outfit on. Um, I already did my hair. I just gotta do my makeup. I took a shower already. Like, I'm ready, but I'm not ready. You, you get what I'm saying? But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys my um bag real quick. By the way, it's currently like 12 something, like 12.20. So, like, I'm leaving where I am, like around. 2.30, okay? So, I'll be there on time still. Okay, guys, so this is like a simple cheap suitcase that I got. This is like my shower thing. And then my makeup bag. The, the purse I'm gonna wear to the concert. I'm gonna show you guys that. Some hoop earrings I'm gonna be wearing to match the outfit. Okay, and then the perfume. This is the perfume I'm going to be wearing tonight. It was a really hard choice, but yeah. Okay, so this is the yellow shirt. This is like, I'm going to show y'all the clip. Sing it, y'all. That's the outfit I'm going to be wearing. So these are the pants. I got it from Rainbow. Got the shirt from Rainbow for three dollars, y'all. Like, don't get me wrong. Beyonce here in my pockets, but it is what it is. I have this like waterproof foam protector just in case if it rains or whatever. But I doubt it, it's gonna rain. Dior and the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing are these because I'm short and. So this is the outfit. You know, I'm gonna put like pieces together. I'm going to the Beyonce and I'm still not processing this. And I have this pimple on my forehead. No, and I'm going to see Beyonce today. This pimple decided to just, hey. Guys, I was like, I can't process this yet. Okay, so it's 12.30 and I'm just now doing my makeup. Y'all, I took a shower and everything. So, all I really need to do is do my makeup and legit put my outfit on and kind of like fix up my hair, put it a little bit higher. But that's pretty much it. I'm going for like, and I have glitter, so I'm kind of going for like the Beyonce clip that I showed y'all and then mixed with like the Renaissance tour. You know what I'm saying? If you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. So I don't know if you guys um, do this in your makeup routine, but I put sunscreen before I like do my makeup, put primer on because you know like I live in Florida so the sun be crazy and beaming. I know I'm gonna be outside. The sun's gonna be hitting outside today. So I'm gonna put makeup on. Honey, 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 I'm baking. I'm baking the fuck out of my face, right? Excuse my language, but I'm baking the freak out of my face, y'all. Yeah, I don't I hope I don't pass out. Okay, winner. So this is the makeup look, you guys. It's giving early 2000s. I'm gonna show you guys the fit. 
So this is the outfit. Like I showed you guys the clip. That's the look I was looking for. It's close to it, but you know, it's not the same exact, but y'all get the vibes. And then like the silver earrings and stuff to give it like a little bit of renaissance so nobody can come at me. <laughs> but yeah, this is like when she sang in the club remix. And then my shoes. Yeah, I think it kind of matched everything together. All of this was like last minute, y'all. I just found a picture of her and then I decided just to go with it. So. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, so this is the bag that I'm going to be using. Um, I did not read the policy because I cannot find it, and it's already the day of the concert, so I just, like, picked up a cute little clear bag to take with me. Um, this is my first very, very concert, you guys, so I do not know what to bring to a concert, so I just, like, looked up some um, YouTube videos, so let's get into it. So as you guys can tell, this is the first pocket. It has, like, little little pocket sorry my nails y'all my nails look crusty right now i'm trying to cover it so this is the lipstick that i'm using so i'm gonna open this so when you open it like just a lot of space in here for a small little bag so i have a first aid kit just in case of like anything anything can really happen i'm really clumsy so I have like toothpick because I'm gonna be eating over there. Pills just in case I have a headache, band-aids, alcohol wipes. Y'all know, y'all know. So I have that. And then next I have a fan. I hope they let me end with this fan. Cause I saw some like vlogs and they say that they don't allow this type of fan. Just the regular um old style fan. But I have this here just in case. So hopefully they do let me in. Um, hand sanitizer spray. You be touching all over the place, you know. Of course, one thing accessories, a wallet. I got this small wallet for like five bucks. Um, honestly, I just need my like ID, um, everything. So yeah, this really comes in handy. And then I have personal, you know, down there wipes just in case like i use the bathroom and i don't want to use the like public toilet paper i have like cleaning cloths so yeah tissues just in case i cry and the concert because you know i'm an emotional wreck so this is what i have and then just like some makeup sponges to like pat down my makeup if i'm like sweating or anything so I got that. Mm -hmm. And the last but not least, I have some travel wipes, you know, for emergencies. So, um, this is everything that I have in my bag and all I'm bringing to the concert because I don't want to bring too much stuff. And yeah, make sure y'all put deodorant before y'all go to the concert. If you order, you know, make sure y'all do all of that first. So that is what I'm bringing to the concert only. Um, just some essentials, essentials. I'll see you guys in the car because I gotta go to the bank and then just do like quick little errands. And I'm on my way to pick up my friend because my friend is coming with me from my um, color guard team. So. Turn right, then take the ramp to Florida's turnpike. Hey guys, so I just made it to Miami. Welcome to Miami. And I'm currently here. Parking is really difficult right now, so we, I gotta figure that out before I show you guys like clips, clips, clips. Okay guys, so we made it to the parking, but the problem was we had to wait until five until the game was open. 
but we made it and i was really excited because you guys i'm from miami and i've never seen the hard rock stadium so i was really really excited for this so guys so fucking good I'm in the line for merch. Longest line. Okay, so we came really early and we were at the gate, so I was really excited for that. But eventually we got stopped and waited for like 10 minutes because our tickets weren't scanning. So the workers tried another way, but eventually we got inside and everybody's outfits were like stunning. I was speechless. Oh my God. You guys, look at that.
I've never been surrounded by so many people, but overall, speechless. I'm so fucking exhausted. I can't. Oh my God. It's been such a long day. I've been crying. My lashes is just all over the place. It was drizzling in Miami, y'all. Oh my God. I can't with Miami. I just can't. Like, look at my edges. They're not even laid. <laughs> but... Yeah, it was a mission for my first ever fucking concert, y'all. Oh my god, the first time. So we went, we waited in line. The tickets weren't scanning. And I'm like, why is the tickets not scanning? Like, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, it's not scanning. So I waited, we, me and my friend waited like a good five minutes. Well, I like to say six minutes. Um, We waited a good six minutes. And then we went in because the um, other worker, he did some other shit and he scanned it another way. So we went in. Uh, I'll tell you guys more information on the next clip because honestly, I'm just, I need to process this. I need to process. I had such a fun time for my first concert. I'm going to get tipsy because baby, I was sober as shit in the show because... I need to see everything. I need to record everything. But, yeah. I lost the earring, like, out of the show. So, that's why I have one earring on, y'all. I look like a hot mess. Beyonce, oh my god. The dancers were everything, like. Next clip. I'll tell y'all the next clip. More details, more everything, because. I need to process. Yeah. It's been like an hour since I got back and I still haven't showered. I'm pretty good at it right now. Yes, I want to win. And the routines that I already performed just start cutting it. I want us to a girl named Kalani. Sorry, kids. That's you. Hey, you guys. So I'm back. It's Four days after the concert. Y'all, <laughs> I don't even know what to say because honestly, that was my first ever very concert. Um, I've been seeing Beyonce since I was like five. I like to say five, six. I remember just, I don't know, watching Beautiful Liar on TV and I was just like belly dance to it. I don't know. Like, ever since I first saw Beyonce, I just fell in love with her. But, um, back to the concert. That was actually the best first concert I have, I've ever been to and I've ever experienced with my own eyes. Like, just being there and seeing everything in person is actually crazy. I, I see clips on TikToks, on YouTube, I see vlogs, but being there, an actual person it's crazy it's insane it's insane like beyonce is such a beautiful human being like it's unreal it's unreal y'all i learned a lot throughout that concert because i am a dancer like i do do hip-hop i do contemporary i do all of that stuff for ballet seeing the dancers as well like it really showed me a lot. And I really got emotional at the end of the concert because I just sat there and realized like, this concert is over. Beyonce is gone. The dancers are gone. And that really got me into like, yo, I really want to work my ass off. Get a bunch of training because I'm not a competitive trained dancer. Um. My mom never, you know, she never paid for 
dance classes or whatever. Anyways, that really inspired me to become a better dancer and realize like, yo, this is what I want to do with my life. I want to perform on stage in front of millions of people, thousands of people. Like that's crazy. It was a lot of people there, like a lot. Um, But overall the concert was insane. Beyonce, I don't know, her vision of what she wants on stage is actually crazy. And her vo her, her vocals, you guys, her vocals, oh my god. Like honestly, no words. It just sound pure. Her voice sounded so pure, like is is not even you know what I'm saying? Like, she don't use no auto tune, none of that, none of that. Like, hearing her voice live, it just felt so unreal. It felt like I was in another universe. She's really good. And that's exactly how I felt. Everybody came to Slade with their outfits. I loved it. Like, everything about the concert, I just fucking loved it. Like, I went to the merch place, and this is like what I got. I only got two things, cause baby, them prices, them prices. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. <laughs> I got me the fan, of course, cause I knew. I just knew that she was gonna say something about the fans or whatever, but it was hot too, y'all. Like, it was really hot. It was hot. It was fucking hot. But look how pretty this fan is. It has the horse and then it says heated in the back. Like, I love it, I love it. And then I got the merch. I'm gonna show y'all the merch, hold on. So this is the, the merch that I got. Renaissance World Tour. And then it just says like all the, the cities, um, states that she's been in so cute miami's like way is right here miami's like right here i love the sleeves but i got this green one because um half of the stuff was sold out um the hoodie that i want they only had an extra large and a large which basically this is a medium y'all and this is already big on me but I like big clothes. That's how I am. Um, y'all, this was one ten. It was one hundred and ten dollars, y'all. Plus the thirty five. Th the fan was thirty five, by the way. <laughs> so I spent like a hundred. It was like one hundred and sixty five, and then I tip the people. I don't know why I tip the people, but I just tip the people just to be nice. But that's what I got. Okay, y'all, so that concludes the end of this video. If you stay till the end, you are a motherfucking real one, okay? I'm just saying that. <laughs> but um, if you guys wanna see pictures on Instagram, stay till the very end of my video so you guys can see it's my outro. So yeah, go do that if you wanna do that. I honestly have no words for the concert. It was honestly the best time I ever had. And I wish I could go back. And it's just incredible that, and I'm just so happy that I got to experience that whole thing with my own eyes. And I don't know what more else to say. Like, I don't know what else to say, you guys. Yeah, you guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and notifications on. Thank you to all the people that subscribe to me. Um, I really appreciate it for everything that you guys even subscribe to me. This is really insane, but thank you so much. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next motherfucking video.